Hi, Casey here, and today we are going to talk about having a free and liberated breath. We are born with this natural ability to have a wonderful, full breath from the pelvic floor to the diaphragm to the throat, and then a nice exhale to let it all out. We have a nice sympathetic inhale and parasympathetic nervous system state. Exhale, and then experiences happen and our breath turns into <laughs> really short breathing patterns and we adapt. Therefore, we continue to naturally do these short breathing patterns. And over a long period of time, this adaptation is not great and we start to have issues with our health, with our mental health, and with our ability to perform cardiovascular activities well or strength training activities, all because we're not utilizing our full capacity to breathe. So what happened? We came onto this earth like perfect little breathers. Well, there is probably multiple instances throughout your life that this may have happened. I know for me, when I was about three, maybe two or three, I don't exactly remember the time, but um, we were in Florida and my dad was teaching my sister how to swim and I was told to sit on the ledge of the pool and wait my turn. As a very impatient middle child, go-getter I was like no screw this like I don't want to wait my turn and so I hopped on into the pool without swimmies nothing because I wanted to learn how to swim right now and my mom had the whole thing on camcorder you know those like really big heavy ones it was on her shoulder and they're about like 10 pounds yeah it's all all on video and so I jumped in the pool and boom sank like an anchor right to the bottom I remember that shock moment of like what just happened and then I remember my dad pulling me up out of the water and my mom's like, oh, oh, mom, gym, get her! You know, like that, obviously, because your child who just can't swim just decided she was gonna swim. Um, and that story has stuck with my body, whether I actually remember it or if I just remember it from watching it on the home movies, it doesn't really matter because our cells and our body remember things that our mind may alter or want to try and forget and stuff away. And so when this happened, I obviously got in trouble, right? And so now huh, I'm doing this. I got in trouble for wanting to do something that I felt was correct to do. I thought I could swim because I am an almighty powerful super being and I went for it. And it didn't turn out exactly the way I wanted. I got in trouble, I couldn't breathe, and now I'm afraid to go in the water by myself. So all these three things, my body has programmed and my emotional center in my brain, so my amygdala, my prefrontal cortex, my, um, what is it, the articulate cingulate cortex as well. Those three areas are like, wee -oo, wee -oo, fear, fear, fear. And that's gonna set off a sympathetic state in the nervous system. And now I'm going to breathe fast shallow and slow because that's what the sympathetic state of the nervous system tells our body to do because it thinks that it is in a fearful situation that it is going to die and therefore it prepares the body to run away and i now considered these moments of life with this fearful experience and my breath patterns continued to follow that and there have been many other instances where we get in trouble or we aren't supposed to do something or we don't go for it all the way. And so we're holding back a little bit and our breath is holding back as well. So multiply that by however many years you've been on this earth. And now we've forgotten how to take that that nice full breath because we don't practice it enough. And so if there has been moments where you're like, ugh, I just feel stuck in my body, heavy and tired, it's probably because you're not taking full breaths throughout the day. So to take a full breath, I want you to place your hands on your lower stomach and I want you to place one all the way up by your throat. And I want you to feel like there's air filling up from the base of your spine through your belly, through your ribs, through your chest, and up into your throat, up into your head, and then exhale and feel like the air is coming out from the top of your head, down through your throat, down through the chest, 
the ribs, and the belly. Obviously, the air isn't actually going, you know, to the base of our spine there, but when we imagine it that way, we are getting as low as possible in those lungs so that they can expand and that diaphragm really drops down on that inhale. And the lower third um, portions of our lungs is where our parasympathetic nerves lie. So again, the parasympathetic meaning the calm, the rest and digest portion of our nervous system. So to get those activated of saying you're calm and you can breathe, we need to send air, we need to send pressure down to the lower third portion of our lungs. So if we're breathing up here all day, we're not activating this portion of our lungs. And again, now we're back into this cycle of the short breathing. So for five minutes, I want you to practice this every single day. Put on a favorite song that is um, soothing to you. And I want you to imagine the air coming from the base of your spine all the way up through the top of the head and all the way back down. And just notice how you feel after. Let me know in the comments if this is helpful for you, if you've experienced anything from breathing in this very full manner. And if you have any other questions or want further help with your breathing patterns to affect your physical, your mental, and your emotional health, I am here for you.